Once, Earth was invaded by aliens known as the Scub Corals, contaminating the air with particles called Trapar. Humans could only fight them using special mechas, but only one in one billion could pilot it. And our main character will awaken the strongest of them. Ao is a 13-year-old who does not have many memories of his parents. His dad went out to get some milk before he was born and his mom. Eureka vanished when he was only three. Since then, he's been living with Tashio, who adopted him as his own grandson. He tried to live a normal life but he was often bullied and discriminated against because of his blue hair, forcing him to dye it brown every week just to fit in. For a long time, he only found joy through the friendship of Naru, a gentle yet very ill girl, who was sick with Trapar particles. She has a special ability to sense events before they happen and recently, she had a dream about a huge fire that will make a huge impact on the world. Al was working hard late in the night when suddenly, a flying car had crashed into the sand and dropped its contents onto the ground. Al quickly picked up a bright green bracelet, and suddenly, the car engine suddenly bursts into a radiant light and turned into a scub coral. Al rushed back to Naru and quickly drove their flying car away in a desperate effort to get her somewhere safe. But, a giant monster suddenly showed up and obliterated the coral. The following day, Al's normal life resumed. On his way to school, however, he was stunned when the same brilliant light appeared again. Instantly, he began to bolt, scared of what might happen. Suddenly, a huge coral came crashing into the ground and sending out a powerful shockwave. Ao was in a panic, thinking if Naru and Tashio were safe. Suddenly, a G monster showed up, shooting blasts with its laser. Ao quickly leapt out of the way, and yelled in fear as he watched the G monster cause chaos in his hometown with its relentless laser fire. Al ran desperately, hoping to get to Naru's house in time. He arrived, but she wasn't home. He burst into tears, regretting his failure to reach her. Suddenly, the mysterious bracelet he was wearing lit up, showing the names Eureka and Al. He remembered this bracelet used to be worn by his mother. Just then, Gazelle, the guy who almost ran over him on the beach appeared, wanting to take the bracelet and give it to the Japanese armed forces, but Ao refused to let go and bit him in desperation. Gazelle makes the decision to take Ao to the Japanese Navy ship. He reveals that the bracelet is the key to unlocking a strong, combat flying ship and the armed forces are eager to get it to battle the G-Monsters. They won't let Ao keep it, so they must take it and take on the G-Monsters. Ao leapt out of the car and landed on the top of the ship. He dashes inside and attempts to fire up the engine, but unfortunately the flying ship refuses to start. Then, the G-Monster went on a rampage, hitting the Navy ship and Ao ended up in the ocean. As Ao's consciousness begins to slip away, yet he suddenly noticed a message appear that said welcome home Eureka. His eyes open wide as the mecha engine powers up and changes his hair to blue. Ao takes control of the machine and heads off to battle the G-Monster. It shoots its laser at him, but Ao dodges it without any trouble, whizzing past it and transforming into a mechanical human form. He speeds up and charges straight for the monster, only to get sent flying into the sky. Not giving up, Ao decides to lead the monster away, to save the people on the island. Ao had been on the run for a while, until he suddenly flew up into the sky, determined to defeat the monster. However, it was faster than he expected and ripped off the mecha's arm. Furious, Ao grabbed the arm and crashed it into the monster's head, wiping it out and saving everyone. Even though everyone was safe, Ao had to fly away quickly, as people had seen he was the one controlling the mecha. Naru managed to find Ao and he was overwhelmed with emotion because he feared people would think his mother and him were responsible for the coral's appearance and the monster attacks, just like before. But Naru was so kind and grateful to him for protecting her and the island, and she gave him a comforting hug. He brings her to the spot where he had stowed away the ship, and pledges to her that he will never fly again as he doesn't want to be hated by all. When Ao and Naru got back, the villagers captured him and locked him up in a room, suspecting that he and his mother were to blame for the coming of the coral. Suddenly, Ivica from Generation Blue, an organization that studies G-Monsters and the Scub Corals, burst into the room. Ivica reveals that the robot he was been driving is called Nervesh, and his mum drove it when she landed on the island. Then, Gazelle and his party show up and take out a battle a G-Monster that snuck up on them using a storm to avoid being detected. Ao initially refused after seeing his grandfather's home engulfed in flames due to the people's hatred toward him. But, after understanding that the bracelet his mother gave him signified that it was his destiny to pilot the Narvish and save them, he changed his mind. Al soared up into the sky with Nervesh, then transformed into his human shape to battle the monster. He bravely enters the monster's domain, an area where the evil creature can sense anything that moves. The beast unexpectedly shoots missiles toward Al, but luckily, Floor from the Blue Generation comes to his rescue in time. 
Flora now team up to tackle the enemy. Flora throws a distraction while Al bravely heads into the fray. He soars above the monster and unleashes a barrage of shots until it explodes, propelling him away in the blast. Al awoke on the beach, having been rescued by an unfamiliar person. Surprisingly, this person was very kind and friendly to Al, as he had been saved by Eureka ten years ago when a monster almost killed him. The man takes Al to Ivica, who tells Al all about what Eureka did for the whole world. He then went on to tell Al that his mother had vanished after traveling to a scub burst, which gave Al hope that she could still be alive. After hearing this, Al chose to join Generation Blue so he could search for his mother. He's brought to their base and attempts to stay for a few days, but then he's told that an intruder is trying to break in looking for Nervash. Al dashes to the scene and boards his Nervash to battle the intruder. Suddenly, the intruder, Truth, landed on top of his mecha. Rebecca, a member of the Generation Blue, raised her gun and shouted at Al to escape. But, Truth effortlessly defeats Rebecca and turns to Al. Al takes off, hoping to scare Truth away. But, instead, Truth remained standing atop the mecha and changed into a giant and menacing black shape. It was so terrifying that it caused Al to lose control of the mecha, and it crashed down to the ground. For three days, Al was unconscious and dreamed a strange dream. In it, Truth appeared, taking the form of Al. He tried to convince Naru to go with him, saying she needed to get close to the corals to stay alive. Al then tried to tell Naru that she was being deceived, but Truth mentioned Eureka's name. He said he had been searching for her in Nervash for the last 10 years, and revealed he was the G-monster that had battled her right before she vanished. Al attempted to battle Truth, running after him until Truth revealed his black shadow form. When she saw it, Naru recalled a figure that saved her a decade earlier during the Coral Blast, and she made the decision to go with Truth, leaving Al devastated as his only friend had abandoned him. Al wakes up feeling relieved that it had all been nothing more than a dream. However, Fleur presents him with a photo and news that Naru had left with Truth, just like what he had been dreaming about. Al wants to find Naru again, but the organization has told him he is forbidden to look for her because they have a mission. Al and his team need to go to space quickly because a coral has shown up and if it causes a scub burst, our satellites in orbit around Earth could be damaged. They were about to set off, but had to delay it because Al freaked out after saying he couldn't see the wind flow. After some tests, they explained to him that he could see trapar particles like wind flows because he is the son of an alien. They prove it by showing him pictures from 13 years ago when his mother, along with Nervesh, arrived on Earth, and explained that she had disappeared 10 years ago in an explosion, and was now gone. Despite feeling incredibly sad, Al was determined to fight. His team members used their fire powers to distract the G-monster that appeared to destroy the coral, giving Al the perfect opportunity to shoot it with his machine gun. Al then turns his attention to destroying the scub coral, but unfortunately the Japanese satellites start firing shots at it, but that only causes it to plummet towards Earth's atmosphere. He attempts to stop it, but the force of gravity pulls both him and the coral as the speed increases. Al was in a state of despair, thinking about his mom's passing and feeling overwhelmed. He was close to giving up, but just then, the coral began to blaze, cracking and breaking apart to uncover a tremendous spaceship inside it. A mecha that resembled Nervesh appeared from the ship and saved him, landing on the ocean. The mecha's pilot stepped out and cheerfully introduced herself as Eureka, shocking Al, who sees his mom for the first time in 10 years. Al was over the moon and is unable to hide his happiness after finally discovering his long-lost mother, but his joy quickly vanished when he realized that she did not remember him. But he soon felt disheartened when he realized his mother didn't recognize him, and that Earth was different from the planet she was from. Despite being happy together, Al was astounded when he found out Eureka was pregnant. He requested that she join Generation Blue to protect her and the Nerve Ash from Japan and anyone else who might be looking for them. But to his surprise, Eureka revealed that she wanted to go back to her husband Renton. Al had always felt like his dad had abandoned his mom, but he had no idea that his dad had actually been protecting her. She had ended up in a tough spot and Renton never gave up, still fighting until she could come back. This changed Al's opinion of his dad and he started to see him differently. The members of Generation Blues rush to help Al and Eureka. Ivica tries to thank Eureka for saving him a decade ago, but she doesn't remember them. Ivica comes to the conclusion that the Eureka they are seeing is from the past, and that the baby she is carrying is likely Al. He explains that, if Al doesn't send Eureka back to her timeline, she could become a target of many people. However, Al is unwilling to part with her after being reunited with her for so long and refuses to send her away. Gazelle arrived and declared he wanted to give Eureka away to the Japanese army to get something out of it. Al was so angry that he was not willing to let go of his mom, 
whom he hadn't seen for a decade, and he angrily attacked Gazelle. Suddenly, Al catches sight of someone he believes is Eureka, but it turns out to be Truth in disguise. Before Al can move, Truth uses his black shadow to floor him. When Al regains consciousness, he sees a vision of Naru, thinking it is the truth again. But then it changes into Eureka and he realizes it is his mother. She implores him to take her back to Renton. Al is reluctant, as he has been searching for her for so long. Eureka warns him that terrible consequences will occur if he fails to do so and reassures him that the monsters are not his enemy before she disappears, leaving Al very confused. Al charges in to save Eureka, flying his nerve ash, but Truth's overwhelming might is too much. He throws a powerful punch, but it's stopped by Truth's dark shadow fist. They clashed, but Truth managed to slam Nerve Ash into the wall. Al then lets loose his big guns, giving Eureka a chance to sprint to her Nerve Ash and fight Truth. The two Nerve Ash flew ahead, trying to take down Truth, but his dark shield stopped every attack. Suddenly, they saw a bright light in the distance. A scub burst was about to happen. If Eureka flew towards the light, she'd go back to her own timeline. But Truth didn't want her to leave and chased after them as they flew towards the beam of light. Al aimed Nuravash's huge gun at Truth, aiming to buy some time for Eureka. But in an unexpected turn of events, Truth effortlessly managed to dodge the shots and quickly lunged at Al, delivering a hard punch to the Nuravash. This left Al wide open, and gave Truth an opportunity to move closer to Eureka's mecha. Luckily, just in time, Alina, a member of Al's team, zoomed in with her spacecraft and crashed into Truth, sending him tumbling into the ocean. The Japanese Navy forces arrive and fire their explosive missiles to stop her from leaving. Eureka's nerve ash started to take action by itself and ejected her from the cockpit so it could keep Truth from attacking them. Al leapt into action, grasping her in midair with his nerve ash. He didn't want to be apart from her again, but knew he had to send her to the nearest pillar of light to get her back to her own time. The mother and son then flew off to their destination but suddenly, a G monster appeared and blocked their path. It shot laser beams at Al's mecha, but he managed to stay one step ahead. Al warned that he couldn't get close without a weapon, but Eureka touched the panel and unlocked Nervash's special missiles. In an intense moment, Al used Nervash's missiles to blow the G-Monster into tiny pieces and defeat it in an instant. Eureka is about to go back to her own timeline. Before she does, she asks Al if he called her mama because she is going to have a baby. He doesn't tell her that he's her son, instead, he asks her to have a healthy boy. But Eureka surprises him when she says her baby will be a girl. She enters the Pillar of Light, and just before it vanishes, Al catches a glimpse of a hazy form of his nerve ash that looks partially broken. Watch this next video, see you on the next one.